What's up YouTube and I have a Funko Mail Day for you guys. I've already opened it on my TikTok. It's shiny 13 I'll post the information below for you guys to go and check me out. Um, my TikTok is nothing but stuff with my wife, our vacations, um, Funko stuff, and most a lot of Disney stuff. So hope you guys enjoy that content. Um, if you don't, just check it out anyway. <laughs> um, I appreciate followers, likes. I would we're planning to go back to Disney in the end of the year, so please get me to a thousand followers so I can get live streaming going while we're in Disney. That'd be great. Um, but let's get into the mail day. So, I bought an item for my wife. So Funko.com, you know, that I've said many times, my wife's a big Beauty and the Beast fan, so Funko.com had a Cogsworks exclusive. So I bought one. One. Um but I saw all this stuff on there I definitely wanted. And I am a big Winnie the Pooh fan. So I have a Winnie the Pooh to show you guys. But let me show you something uh, that's not Disney related first. And this caught my attention the moment I saw it. Because it's a Fred Flintstone with house. How awesome is that? That's so cool. I am actually really excited that it's a collection. How do you say no to Fred Flintstone? What's the house? It's from the Pop Town. Hanna-Barbera. This thing's super heavy. I've been getting more into some random stuff stuff so we'll put that down here then I the one like I said I'm a big Winnie the Pooh fan I had to get Winnie the Pooh so this is my second Winnie the Pooh in my collection uh, box is a little damaged but it is what it is I really don't care um, Winnie the Pooh and then the one I ordered for my wife so box looks good I ordered for Cogsworth and I hate to say it, this is the one time I probably didn't want the chase. And I ended up getting the chase. I can't complain, but I kind of didn't want the chase this time. I just wanted the regular one just to put the set together for my wife. So she doesn't know that I've been working on the, this 30th anniversary set for her yet. She's about to find out. So now she has the chase Cogsworth to add to her collection, the Funko.com exclusive. So one for one on chase, and now you're going to go buy the regular one to add to the collection. <sighs> didn't want to do that. So um, besides box being a little just damaged right there I'm not gonna complain though I'm okay with that I'm not reselling either for my own personal collection if I really was going to resell stuff um that one right there it's like 150 bucks and I have no intention of selling it so hope you guys enjoyed my Funko Mail Day and I'll see you all next time take it easy have a good one peace